welcome to this channel and today we want to look at high blood pressure hypertension and all this thing now um according to statistics you you, you see that um some people or most people usually have this issue of hypertension high blood pressure just above 40 from 40 45 50 and all those things so we need to educate ourselves we need information on how to prevent hypertension or high blood pressure as you clock 40 or over 40 just above 40 below 40 uh, at all or well, just within that range we are going to look at some of those things you need to do just to make sure that when you get to age 40 or 45 then you be then you have to find a way of preventing hypertension especially if it's genetically or that means if it's hereditary in your family or probably you have just have this thing like okay how can i cannot prevent this hypertension stuff and all those things so we are going to be talking about all those things you need to do so you can actually prevent yourself from having hypertension or high blood pressure at that age continue to subscribe to the channel like this all right um as you know that high blood pressure is one of the primary um primary cause of many life-threatening diseases like hypertension i mean like hypertension like cardiac arrest like stroke like so many things especially the carat the area of hypertension and cardiac arrest and some of that even diabetes and all those things so we are going to look at look we, we as we uh, as we watch on with the video we're going to look at the meaning the causes and how to prevent and at age 40 less or above how do how do i avoid having a, a, a high blood pressure because um if in my own case my mommy died at a very young age so genetically and some other people in the died in the family also died of hypertension so um i think this now we, we we need to look at this ourselves and we need to just look how can i avoid this at 40 years and above either as a man as a woman let's go straight to the point um the first one is you have to if, if you know you want to you don't, you don't want to have hypertension around that age if you are overweight then you have to lose weight that's weight loss um you see one of the mirrors ways of having hypertension at age 40 above or at 50 is through weight gain you know if, if you are overweight or if you are obese then you are you stand the risk of having hyper high blood pressure at first i did agree with some doctors and you know after after a while i've seen that People around that age usually have, have they, they have they, they, they are they are susceptible to having high blood pressure because of their weight. And um, you know obesity. You know if you are obese or if you are overweight, yeah, many times blood find it difficult to, to run through because of the fat, the cholesterol in the in the in the, in the blood vessels. So it's caused so overweight at times you just need to. And how do you prevent it? There you have to do a lot of exercises. You have to you have to change your food plan, your diet plan, so that you can actually you can actually be. Um, you know, some people can be weight, some some people can be overweight and still they do exercises. What's the function of exercise to ensure blood that well circulated around your body? When blood that circulated around your body, then with time, then you'll be healthy because as blood flows through the body, then you'll be very fine. Because as you know, um it keeps you healthy, it eradicates all diseases, and you even lose you even you, you, you also lose weight as well. So um all these things need needs understanding, like if you are overweight, if you are obese. You also need to to lose weight and um, for people that are not obese or overweight at times see you have to, you have to exercise because um, apart from eradicating diseases exercise also help in in ensuring blood that was circulated around the body which is one of the basic things that prevent life threatening diseases like hypertension stroke and all those things so that is one um like i used to say like uh, somebody said diet and exercise you can't remove it helps you to remove excess, excess part from body fast and easy the other one is um you have to drink more more water at age 40 or above age 40, 45, 50, you shouldn't ignore the fact that water is the best thing for you, not beer, not alcohol, and all those things because of high blood pressure. I don't need to take more of sugary foods, but water is a simple substance that increases metabolism and digestion. Water is the base of life. It also helps in elimination of fatty cells in the body. So you have to need to, and you also need to shun alcoholism. Um, you know, at 40, many people have arrived, yeah, I mean, even ladies now take, take more alcohol. They, they smoke, they take drugs, and all the alcoholism. Uh, that which is very bad because as you are doing that you are exposing yourself to to to, to high blood pressure which is one of the genes of life threatening issue you also need to end you need to end 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 all this like taking a beer alcohol smoking and all those things you need to take you just do away with all of them or better still take them in little quantity not because you have the money or not because you you, you have arrived not because you have so much to then you begin to take alcohol every in day in and out this is very wrong because it might lead to the uh, hypertension that we are talking about. I also need to eat more fruits and vegetables also. And I think we need to tell ourselves um, 
from your i believe you want you know the advantage of vegetables and fruit because they contain vitamins and minerals that helps in body development repairs of one out tissues in the body and you know at this stage you need to include more vegetables in your diet and you also eat more fruit because of the minerals and vitamins they contain they help fight diseases they neutralize the body te- um, the body temperature and the bloody pleasure and the body um, blood pressure as well so eating vitamins and um, fruits which contain vitamins and vegetables contain minerals everything is very good for the body then they try to increase your physical activities also you see you need to do more exercise like as you have to exercise jogging you have to do running skipping walking sit walking jumping cycling stretching yoga squatting sit-ups and all those things skin five actually skipping because uh, all these exercises ensure blood are well circulated around the body from the heart to the other part of the body through the blood vessels, through the muscles, through the veins and all those things. You see, at 40, at 45, 50 over 40, regular exercise at this age helps you to prevent heart-related diseases like stroke, brain issues and cardiac arrests and all those. So, although you need more energy, it gives you more energy, then it gives you also make you work balanced. So, you, so, to progress in life, to, if you want to live a life free of, free of um, high blood, hypertension, high blood pressure at that age, then you have to do more exercise, increase your physical activity. And if your work is preventing you from doing all this, and then you have to create time and do less one that's maybe like all those early morning exercise before you go to work. And you also need to sleep more, like I said. You know, resting very well also helps avoid stress. It keeps the brain work, and it also keeps the heart working. You know, you know when you skip sleep, some people, say it's, it, it can lead to issues like migraine, depression, stroke, diabetes, hypertension, and all those. So you don't need to skip sleep. And you also need, at that age, at age 40, 50, you also need to eat less of salt and sugar, unless you are told to do so by your doctor. So at age 45, 50, you should, you should find your sugar and salt consumption. You define it instead that so you can have them in, in, in moderation. So you just eat, take your, your sugar and um, salt in moderation. Not that you don't take sugar at all, not that you don't take salt at all, but let everything be moderate. Because when it happens, the doctor will ask you to, to also reduce it um so it's like people don't know the function of salt in the body because that's uh osmo regulation and you know the heart pressure regulation um you know salt contains um compounds so it has sodium and sodium also and, and one of the function of sodium in the body is because of the water heart pressure so and when you consume it in excess it makes the heart pump more which is causing which makes it right then you also need to talk to your doctor uh, you know like i said um there's nothing you can do than to just get your doctor informed you need to inform your doctor like a uh, doctor uh, I don't have hypertension. I'm 40. I'm clocking 45. I'm clocking 50. What do I do? Then the doctor will examine you. How do you run, run a check on you and tell you, okay, do this, do that. All these, all these things you are saying now, they are, they are some of the necessities. That's the basics. But the doctor doesn't know how to explain more for you that, okay, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this, don't do that. I'm um, at 40, at uh, age 45 or 50, and if you notice that you, you already have the hypertension or you already have a blood pressure, then the doctor knows what to do to control it for you and you live fine. Um, It's like one of the things that kills many people these days is ignorance, you know. People don't, so at 45, at 50, at age 40, they believe they are still very young and they don't, they don't check their blood pressure, they don't check anything, they don't check their sugar level, all because they know they are young, they are just on, in, the, in, the, in, in the later stage of adulthood. Or is this wrong? Everybody should run it. If you are 40, you should run a test on yourself. Check your BP, check your sugar level, check your protein, check everything. Probably every six, six months or once in a year, it keeps you healthy and it keeps sudden death from happening to you. So... That is that. So for people who, are, who, who, who already have this hereditary factor in their family, because high blood pressure is hereditary, then you need to follow all these guidelines. And if you don't have also, it's it's very normal for you to run a check on yourself as long as, as just immediately you clock 40, which is very good. So that's if you have any questions, use the, su- use, I mean, use the suggestion box or comment box, then like, subscribe to us and 